Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well, thank you for joining me. Well, I talk about Paul Thorpe again and the live stream last night. Covered probably four or five different very distinct areas. Now I remember being asked a question by Paul and it was, Andy, where do you see everything in five years time? Where, where do you see this going? And I sat and thought about it and I said, well, it depends on the people, doesn't it? It depends on the people. Now, what do I mean by that? We are all very influenced by everything we see, everything we hear and everything we read. I'm, I'm reading a book at the moment where it talks a lot about how we are preconditioned from a very early age to believe a certain version of events, believe that certain things are true when they might not necessarily be so. And somehow we have to break through that conditioning. We have to say to ourselves, right, well, actually, this is true and this isn't. Yeah, you know, it's, it takes a lot of critical thinking and a lot of digging deep. Now, we've ended up in a situation where we've got a party in power that's really caused the pensioners of this country uh, some major problems. We've got a prime minister who has more skeletons in the closet than uh, Jeff Dunham's ventriloquist wardrobe it's uh it's really uh very horrible and the mainstream media have really taken this on and really running with it and apparently any time now something big is about to break and we'll have to see what that is possibly tomorrow possibly possibly wednesday but what they're proving again once and for all is there a shower of shit and then the conservatives were before now, one of the things that they're arguing about is, you know, this business of this this black hole. Is it 10 million billion? Is it 22 billion? But the fact is, they're saying that they inherited it from the Conservatives. But if you look at all that gold that Gordon Brown sold at a discount rate all those years ago, and then look at the price of gold at the moment. That would more than fill that hole if we still had that gold. So was it really a problem inherited from the Tories or was it Labour before? The point I'm trying to make, they're all as bad as each other. They've all melded into each other. You're, you're no better off with one than the other. And unfortunately, so many people in their droves went out and voted for this crap that we have now because we believe a certain version of events. And let's face it, none of us are any better off the way it is. I just hope and pray that when a, a general election of any kind does come, people really step back and think, right, I've got to do it right this time. And we have to speak to the people that are fed up of it. Uh, you know, the apathy. I, I, what's the point? I'm not coming out. It will it will never change anything. We have to get those out too. So where do I see this? Depends on the people. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, subscribe to the channel. 104,000 subscribers now. I appreciate all your support and the channel members as well. Hit the like button, share me, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Toodaloo.